A oh, nice shot. 300 up for England. Full house here today. A lot of them uh, had to wait for a while to get in, but uh, once they got in, took their seats, they've hardly moved. No ball four. And it's been a splendid partnership between Peterson and Charles. Peterson, the one had he gone, the Australians might have been through. Instead, we first of all carry the attack to Australia at a time when they'd lost Flint off. Peterson was at the other end. And anything could have happened. So it was going to be another nail biter. And instead, Peterson stands out in the centre of this great ground now, 153 not out, gone to 154 now. I thought was coming straight through the television set at me. That one he smashed straight down the ground off the front foot. Quite a good delivery. Well pitched up ball. And that's the story of his innings. England have played their way out of trouble, and with that sometimes comes a bit of good fortune. Just bounces a little bit on him. I was saying a few moments ago, the last half an hour, 40 minutes, all the thick edges or running off the face have all gone England's way. The good balls, they haven't nicked. They got themselves into good position, but they've earned it. They've played really well. We've had all sorts of music here today, Land of Hope and Glory and the National Anthem, Jerusalem before we started. I always carry a lot of music around with me and one of the great ones for me is uh, Andrea Bocelli and Sarah Brightman singing that duet, that wonderful duet, Time to Say Goodbye. And uh, that's what it is, so far as I'm concerned. Time to say goodbye. I can add to that. Thank you for having me. It's been absolutely marvellous for 42 years. I've loved every moment of it.
and uh, it's been a privilege to go into everyone's living room throughout that time. What's even better, it's been a great deal of fun. But not so for the batsman. McGrath has picked him up. Late in the day, he's got a beauty through Kevin Peterson. 308 for eight now. Peterson will receive a standing ovation. He gets one from Shane Warne at the moment. And there is a roar to end all roars. A standing ovation from the moment he started to walk off the crease. The wicket too late for Australia. But perfectly timed so far as England is concerned. Peterson, 158, 308 for eight, England. Beautifully bowled. McGrath gets his man. And we've got our two men in the commentary box now. Mark Nicholas and Tony Gregg. 